Welcome to This Week in Wimberley. I'm Chris Daly. I will be joined shortly by Mr. Z, Gary Zupancic. Uh, this is a show where we talk about what's going on in and around the Wimberley Valley, all the fun stuff. We will get to that in just a moment. But first, quick message from some people who made this show possible. Looking for a one-stop shop for all your indoor, outdoor, garden, and ranch needs? Look no further than King Feed and Hardware. Our customers rave about our old general store vibe and the unique eclectic mix of products you won't find anywhere else. Whether you need tools for the garden, supplies for your pets, equipment for your livestock or construction business, or just something for your home, we've got you covered. Plus, don't miss our destination nursery and garden center with a constantly changing inventory of plants, trees, vegetables, yard art, and outdoor furniture. Bring the family and visit our animal residence or pick up toys, games, and books for the kids. Come see us in Wimberley, Texas and discover what makes King Feed and Hardware the ultimate shopping destination. Are you looking for a fun and unique way to decorate cookies? Introducing Paint Your Own Cookies from Hundred Oaks Farms in Inez, Texas. The edible paint palettes make prep and clean up a snap, and their award-winning sugar cookie recipes ensure each bite is a delicious treat. Making PYO cookies is the perfect activity for parties, events, or just a fun night in. It's easy, it's fun, it's super interactive for both kids and adults. You create and decorate your own cookie masterpieces with endless possibilities of designs and patterns. Whether it's for a party, a special event, or just a thoughtful gift, PYO cookie kits are sure to make your occasion a sweet success. Visit their website at 100oaksfarmtexas.com or give them a call at 937-499-4790 to order your own Paint Your Own Cookie Kit today. All right, everybody join me in welcoming Mr. Z, Gary Zupancic. How are you doing, Gary? Hey, hey. Good. Nice talking to you, Chris. So what's going on, man? I heard you uh, have you a know. little cold. You know, you're getting over that. That's good. Yeah, exactly. It was, it was a, you know, I get a I get a cold like once every couple of years, and it lasts for a couple of days, so it's usually not a big deal. Okay. All right. Well, you know, I, I feel a little bit safer Governor Abbott activated the Austin Air Tanker Base for wild, wildfire response, and it mm-hmm. includes us. So, so you know, hey, I've been, you know, I watch it on TV out of the Austin station, and uh, you know, they, it's like, boy, they dumped that water. It's it's quite interesting, quite interesting. Uh, yeah. There's another trail that they're going to try and connect them uh, from Austin to San Antonio and uh, the Blue Hole would be on it, and uh, really it's to connect Austin, San Antonio hiking, and also to look at all the, uh, and conserve the springs that are on the way, and there's a lot of springs, you know, not, yeah. maybe not flowing now, but there are, you know. We got a lot, man, there's a lot of stuff going on this week. The uh, Wimberley Education Foundation is hosting a mm-hmm. community bash uh, for free, of course it's going to be de- donations to the foundation, but it's going to be homeboy uh, Jesse Stratton. So he's playing tonight there, and uh, Dylan Meek. Now, Dylan Meek is an interesting uh, guy. Uh, I did an interview with him a couple of years ago. He left Wimberley like when he was 16 and went to L.A. and cut an album, and it really did really, really well. He's got a lot of uh, a lot of people, that uh, a lot of fans. And so mm-hmm. he's going to be uh, at the Friday next week. Uh, it's the Wimbledon United Methodist Church, and doors open at seven. And uh, so, you know, that's going to be going on. Uh, the Big Bag Big Band uh, is also putting on uh, this weekend uh, the Wimberley, Wimberley Valley Big Band. They're swinging dance concert, and it's called Wine hmm. and Unwind, Wine and Unwind, and Dine. And it's going to take place at the Wimberley Valley Winery. Which uh, you ever been out there? I have it's, not. I've been by there, but I haven't been there. Oh, okay. It's it's, it's kind of isolated off of Old Banner Mountain Road, but yeah. uh, it's uh, man, it is really cool inside. And I guess you know, there's a lot of uh, bachelorette parties and wedding receptions and that type of stuff. And really, it's it's really laid back. It's it, and it's beautiful. It's very very beautiful. Nice. 
So that yeah, that'll be going on at seven thirty. And uh other you know, the Wimbledon players they're putting on a streetcar named Desire. And uh that's going through September twenty third, I think, or twenty sixth, but it's on all month. And uh they always put on a good production. They really, really do. Uh last but not least is the Wings over Wimberley celebrates the best to live under the Cypress Creek Bridge. Uh, nice. The event's, take, the event's taken uh, a, a, on 100 River Road, which is really the parking lot of Lozona Bank, and they're going to mm-hmm. have bands. Uh, they have a bat costume contest for kids. There's raffles. Uh, there's a lot more, and it goes both September 8th and 9th. And uh, if you have, want to see more information about that, it's uh, wingsoverwherever.com. Uh, and that had been postponed for two years because of COVID, obviously. But, uh, hey, Batman's going to be there. I'm always excited about seeing <laughs> I love it. You know, and he's been, he, hopefully he has a You know, I was looking at the at the stuff, and uh, you can have your picture taken with Batman. Sweet. So that's pretty cool. That's, that's pretty yeah. cool. Okay. So, you know, at the usual stuff, we got the farmers uh, in Artisan Market, uh, buy food directly from uh, those farmers who are producing it. They also have lots of vendors out there. And that's Thursdays, 2 to 6, on Green Acres, across from the fire station. And there's also the Wimberley Farmers Market behind Blanco Brew on Sundays. And, mm-hmm. in fact, I got contacted about there's also a, a farmer's market uh, on Saturdays at uh, the Junction. So that's going on also. So, really, you know, I want to get some fresh food. It, there's three places to do it. Uh, the Wimberley Valley Museum is open uh, Fridays from 1 to 4. And, of course, during March days, which this isn't, uh, is over Friday and Saturday. But they're open for uh, Fridays from 1 to 4, and there's a docent there, and they'll lead you through. VFW uh, bingo's going on, of course, every Friday night. Doors open at 6.30. Uh, food concession, early bird games start at 7, regular games start at 8. More information, vfw6441.com slash bingo. Uh Tonight, we uh, we do this on Thursdays. Tonight, uh, the Texans are going up to Belton, mm-hmm. and uh, they're playing I guess in, in uh, Mary Harden Baylor uh, Stadium, and yep. it's it's scheduled like I guess the reason being that there's so much going on. Uh, I guess a lot of high schools use the same stadium, but that's going on to, uh, you know regular time tonight, and that'll be on KWBH. But uh, hey, you know. Last game was forty-four to six, and one before that was sixty to whatever. You know, so they got a good team. Not only that, but the volleyball team is is wiping up. Man, they have like a a nine-game winning streak right. right before they go into district. So that's pretty amazing. So you know, we have a yeah. lot to look forward to this fall when it comes. To I, I will I will tell you this game this week for the uh, Texans football. Um, it's against Brock. Brock is a perennial state champion team, a powerhouse team from up north of Dallas. So that's why they pick a neutral site. Uh, they oh, did. They played okay. them last year too. Wimberley won it last year. Uh, this year, Brock looks better. Wimberley looks better. It's going to be a game. Yeah, it'll be something else, man. I, you know, we're all looking forward to it. Yeah. Uh, I, I'm not driving up to Belton though. <laughs> no, no. But like you said, it'll be on TV and radio. Oh, really? They're streaming, huh? Great. Well, it's, it's streaming on uh, NFHS. It's a subscription service that plays a whole bunch of them around the state. Oh, okay. But, uh, okay. But, yeah. Well, free radio here in, in Waverly. <laughs> right, exactly. <laughs> you know. So, uh, coming up for bands this week, uh, 4.30, Jack with no K at Ghost Note, uh, 7 p.m., Joel Johnson Band at Brookshire Brothers, oh, in, in Canyon Lake. Uh, 5 p.m., Dallas Burr over Wings over Waverly. He's just one of the many bands out there. Uh, Byron Batera, our old buddy, and Broken Glass, he'll be also there at Wings over Waverly. So there's lots of free stuff going on on, on Friday. Saturday, the Southpaw Preachers at Wings over Waverly at 2. 3 p.m., Tony Price at Devil's Backbone. 5 p.m., Bob Slaughter and Laughing Waters at Wings over Waverly. Another great band. 6.30, uh, Ash, Ash and Naylor at Middleton's. 7 p.m., Manny Velas- Velasquez at uh, Hate City Store. Also, 7 p.m., at Brookshire's. 
8 p.m. People's Choice at Mercer Street. Uh, Wings over Wimberley at 8. We'll have Jennifer Zavalada and friends. Uh, Sunday, Monty Good at Devil's Backbones at, at 1 p.m. 3 p.m., Marvin and Laura Batera at Middleton's. 3 p.m., Three Chord Rodeo at Mercer Street. 4 p.m., Anthony Wright at Ghost Note. And 6 p.m. is 5 o'clock somewhere at Hayes City Store. <laughs> Monday, September 11th. Uh, oh, you know, I, I did forget September 11th. They're up on up on the hill, Veterans uh, Hill at the, the Emily Ann Gardens. They always have a really, really great uh, little ceremony at uh, 9 a.m. in the but don't let me forget that. Yeah, I saw the date nine one one, and it was like, oh man. So yeah, uh, it's it's a wonderful place to just go and contemplate. But there'll be a little bit of a ceremony there, and that's a really great thing. Uh, so at six p.m., W. C. Clark is at his city store. Also at six, open Mike at Middleton Brewery. It didn't look like there's anything going on Tuesday, but you know, after looking at stuff, uh, looking at statistics. Uh, Tuesday is really like the down day. I, I looked at, at that, and, you know, uh, uh, Wavaka, uh, Carl Rabinow sent out uh, statistics on everything, and it looked like, you know, the most it is, of course, on Saturday. Mm-hmm. Friday is less than Thursday when it comes to people, you know, going to bands or the bands here in town. So yeah. a, lot of, a lot of strange statistics, but, you know, it looked, you know I guess – Matt Del Rancho in Austin, that's why they're off Tuesday, too, because <laughs> we always have to remember that. Uh, so uh, Wednesday, uh, 6 p.m., Song Circle of Savages, and this is a big 7.30, Alejandro Escobedo at Wimberley at the Wimberley Playhouse. That's pretty. And it, yeah, he's, in fact, he was my first big name in uh, bands and interviewing when I was with the Wimberley View, and I was a little scared, but... He was really nice. He was really, really nice. Couldn't, couldn't have been nicer. Uh, this week, we have a song from Tumbleweed Hill. Now, they're named after uh, a hill in, uh, I guess, off of 290, going to Austin. But it really, you know, it's like, this is one of those songs that Ernest Tubb should have sang, you know, because I keep waiting for him to, to come in. Uh, it's called One of These Days. And, it's, and it does sound like Ernest Tubb, and it's actually uh, Tumbleweed Hill. They have an album out, and that's at tumbleweedhill.com. And you listen to it, and they describe it as, imagine riding around in your daddy or granddaddy's old Ford while taking the gravel from the road, hits the fender, and the song com- comes on the radio. I hope it takes you where you want to go. So uh, this is Tumbleweed Hill, and it's one of those days. What are these days? Excuse me. One of these days, if you'd call me, I'd make all your dreams come true. Just one single day is all I need To show just how much I need you It's only time you're killing Now my whole world's in two If you're trifling If you'd call me, I'd make all your dreams come true. Just one single day is all I need to show just how much I need you. Ring down now. days 
if you'd call me You'd make all my dreams come true Just one single day is all I need To show just how much I need you To show just how much I need you Yeah, just to show just how much I need you Yeah, excellent stuff. Uh, great choice on this one, as usual. And I think the ones you're finding are better and better produced each time, it sounds like. This, this one's excellent. Yeah, I have to agree. Um, they're going to be around uh, 917 at John T. Flores Country Store in Holos, uh, Friday 922 at Lonesome Rose in San Antonio, and Sunday 10-1, they'll be at the Mercer Dance Hall, so like near Dripping Drip Springs. That'll be, that will be an excellent concert to go see. Nice. Yeah. So, uh, nonprofit of the week is the Hill Country Women's Health Collective. Uh, yeah. This is a local organization, and it provides uh, health care for women and screenings right here in Wimberley. Uh, they have teen girl empowerment, nutrition, childbirth education, breastfeeding support, mental health services, accessible uh, doula support, and mm -hmm. par par parenting support, excuse me. Our goal is to lift financial, language, and racial barriers to health care, essential services, and education for all women in our community by providing access to free and discounted women's health and mental health services and promoting health and wellness through education. And their website is hcwhc.org. Excellent. Excellent choice, as usual. Uh, and can't can't say enough about what uh, what great uh, nonprofits we have in the area. I have to agree. I have to agree. And if you, and if you live in Wimberley and you're retired and you're not volunteering, go out there. There's a lot of opportunity. Uh, next, yeah, uh, yeah. next, next week on uh, at the Hitch and Post, my radio show on uh, KWVH.org at 1 p.m. on Tuesday. Uh, we'll have, again, Joyce Webb. Uh, both her and I are getting real close to trying to get the book published. Hopefully, we'll have it out by uh, the Christmas season. So I, that's what my fingers are crossed. I'm looking for forward to it because of everything you've mentioned about it. I really, I'm really, i really looking forward to it. Yeah, lots of pictures, too. So, you know, I'm, gonna, I'm sort of going to miss her after all this is over because I talked to her, you know, at least twice a week. So <laughs> that's the past three years. So... All right, Chris, you have a good week. All right, you too. Take care, Gary. Are you a business owner with little time to spare? Don't have enough time to do social media marketing well? You don't have to let it fall by the wayside. Let Fresh Media Works create and post engaging content on your behalf. With prices starting at just $75 a month, our services make you look great without breaking the bank. Text social to 713-269-4620 and let us handle it. As always, I want to thank Gary for sitting down with me. I want to thank you guys for tuning in, for giving us what I consider the most important and valuable gift you can give, and that is your time and your attention. Go out there and participate in your city. Participate in all the great events going on in the city. And tell us about it on your Facebook groups, on your Twitter, anywhere you have friends, share it out.